So I've been getting some of you guys asking for more launcher tips, specifically for the Joker. To be honest, I've been hesitant on making a video like this because I haven't touched the launcher since I've unlocked Damascus. So today, I'm going out of the battlefield with the Joker, undercover boss style, to see if I can find any new or useful strats to help you unlock these camos easier. If you're looking for specific tips, timestamps will be linked in the description below. Before we get into games, let's quickly go over what you should have in your loadout. Obviously, you should have your launcher as your secondary. Coldblooded and Ghost will keep you safe for most of the killstreaks you're trying to take down. An amp will help you reload and swap weapons a lot faster. But you can also use tune-up to increase the field upgrade refresh rate by 40%. If you combine this with the munitions box, you'll be able to replenish your rockets a lot faster. Also, munition boxes will only give you one extra rocket per life. You can kill yourself to reuse it if you need more, or if you're playing with a group, they can all equip this field upgrade for even more rockets. Killstreaks can help too. You can equip a personal radar to help anyone else that might be grinding camos. Cure packages are good to bait kills, or to give your opponents killstreaks that you can shoot down. Same thing goes for emergency airdrops. Also, I'm going to be mixing in some live commentary I did while messing around with the Joker, so you can understand my thought process on these strats better. Oh, he's got a fucking juggernaut! Anyways, the first game mode I want to get into is one that has been suggested by you guys quite a bit, and that game mode is Drop Zone. To explain to those that might be unfamiliar, Drop Zone is a 6v6 objective-based mode where two teams fight over an area where care packages drop. If you need killstreak camos, this is the game mode for you. There's one. Can we get two on it? Oh, is it leaving the fucking... God damn it. There are plenty of air streaks, ground streaks, and the kill streaks that count as vehicles if you're struggling to get those camos done. As far as I know, this is a limited time game mode and can get taken out at any time, so take advantage of it while it's still there. And in its current playlist, it's grouped with domination, so if you're only looking to play drop zone, you might need to back out a few times. But speaking of domination, this is a good game mode to get attacker and defender kills. Ooh, look at that. Most maps will work, but by far the most efficient is shipment. I recommend you play core because in hardcore you'll constantly be dying before you get a shot off, or if you're lucky enough to get the shot out, you'll probably kill a teammate. But launching a rocket in the corners where the flags are is a solid way to rack up kills. All you have to do is send a rocket at an enemy flag, then sit on your flag to get attacker and defender kills. You can shoot the rocket from anywhere, but as long as you're on the flag by the time the rocket gets the kill, you will get progress towards your challenge. Also, melee kills do count as kills for this weapon, so don't forget to beat the shit out of some people. Try to get close to somebody that doesn't see you, like this guy, and beat the shit out of him. And that's a, that's a capture kill. That's an attacker medal right there. I did suggest playing Ground War in the past, but after they removed rockets from the ammo replenish stations and the crazy amount of people trying to take down kill streaks in the mode. Okay, we got a UAV here and it's gone. Make it almost unplayable and not worth it in the slightest. And now we're going to try to launch one onto E. And if this doesn't work, we're going to switch to a different game mode. Alright, we're going to switch to a different game mode. <laughs> But if you're looking for a better breakdown of the launchers, I'll link the guide I made on them a while back. Some of the information is outdated, but it still covers the basics for grinding these. Also, just stay patient and persistent while doing these camos to keep your sanity. It might take a while, just stick with it. If you have any strats with the Joker or any other launcher that I didn't mention in this video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. You might help somebody else out. But that's all the strats I could find while revisiting the Joker. If this video helped you or you learned something new, drop a like on it. If not, dislike. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that sub button and that notification bell if you don't want to miss an upload. Follow me over at twitch.tv slash jmon3y26. I stream a minimum of once a week, but I'm working on squeezing in a few more. And I got some stuff planned that you don't want to miss. I also have an Instagram and a Twitter. Follow me there to see when I upload, go live, or see some clips that just don't make it into videos. But for all the people that watch all the way to the end of the video, drop a F the Joker in the comments below. But don't put the actual fuck word or YouTube will delete it. I learned that the hard way with the AR guide. Anyways, I'm out of here. Peace.